Ebony. Welcome once again to my channel. As always, I'm a Bohemian Organero. And on here, we talk about faith, family, and food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Without further ado, to introduce you, my husband. Okay, introduce yourself. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. My name is Ehinome Ebohime. Ehinome Ebohime. And we are the Ebohimans. <laughs> well, you're welcome once again. I'm so excited. How do you feel coming back coming back to the camera in my in my own channel? Mind you, he has a YouTube channel now. <laughs> so how do you feel coming back? Yeah, I feel great. I feel excited. Oh. And I'm happy to be here once again, you know. Thank you for giving me the opportunity, <laughs> even though I was shying away. <laughs> yeah, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Hmm. <laughs> That's the story for another day. Right. <laughs> the reason I actually brought him is because we're actually going to be talking about something very serious. Is it serious? It's actually serious. It's serious, it's right? Serious. It's, it's serious. serious. We're going to be talking about long distance relationships. Relationship. Yes, and um, we're going to be talking about. Okay, so if you don't know, maybe you should say it. Or oh, I should say it. Yeah, okay, so if you don't know, um, we've been married for almost five years now. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing, right? Yeah. And um, we actually went through um, the long distance relationship while we were cutting. True. And um, the truth is that we had known each other for some time. For more than how many years? Well, we can't see. A long time. We're really very close friends, but we actually had to do um, a long distance relationship. I had never thought in a million years I was going to be the person to do a long distance relationship. So that's why we're making this video. So you'll hear from us our experiences and yada yada yada. So, so if you're interested, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. So welcome back. So um what was your what was your best moment or how did you feel when we were about to start our relationship and you realized that it was going to be a long distance relationship was there any way do you have any issues about it okay so yeah i think maybe you should start first how did i feel like it was going to be a long distance relationship yes <laughs> maybe you should start first okay <laughs> well Actually, I, I think I, I had gone through one long distance relationship before. Oh, really? Which one is only? <laughs> ah, do I know? Oh, my God! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I had gone through one long distance relationship. So, ah, uh, it was not really. Stop now! <laughs> it was not, it was just like, it was. It was a no brain. It was something that just had to happen. Okay, so I did not even see it as a long distance relationship. I only felt like I did not realize it was going to be a long distance relationship. It was as we progressed, even though we started like that, but it was as we progressed that how that oh boy, <laughs> this thing is actually a long distance relationship. Oh, yeah, you know? so for, for me, yeah, so like she said, it didn't occur that um, is that. A long distance relationship it didn't look like it like you know so maybe because we're in our face too much that's jealous <laughs> well <laughs> yes well, that the thought of being in a long distance relationship never it didn't cross it didn't click okay but probably when we were not in the properly yeah and by the time we are away, it now became, oh, ah, this, this is, is long distance. <laughs> long distance, actually. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yes. So, okay, what was the best part of the whole long distance relationship? What was the best part for you? So, yes, the best part for me, uh, that anticipation that, okay, I'm going to see her after some time. Yeah. You know, like, I have not seen this person for a long time. Yeah. And you are looking forward to so seeing, her. seeing her so the suspense was yes. good for you so that's giving it like it gave, it gave it life yes it gave it life 
it gave it something to look forward to. to. Am I going to do? Am I going to say? Oh. <laughs> So okay. Yes. So. Okay. Well, well, well. For me, actually, the best part of the long distance relationship was just realizing that ha, this guy really likes me because he will come back from work and he will still call me sometimes even during <laughs> during break. I think it was just the feeling of the fact that you are you are committed to this. We are seeing the commitment even regardless the time. Yeah. Commitment was actually it for me. Seeing that. This person I'm in a relationship with and hoping to get married to is discommitted even in courtship, mm -hmm. you know, was actually very major for me. It was very, it was sweet. When I was thinking, when I used to think about it, then I'm like, oh, it's okay. So what was the worst part for you? The worst part. Do I really have the worst part? Of the long distance, the long -distance relationship. relationship. Ah, well. But I, I need time to think about it. <laughs> yeah, Are you serious? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so the long the, the worst part was actually during the marriage planning process. Oh actually. It was during the marriage planning process. Like oh I think there were a lot of decisions we made that we would have made better decisions okay. on if we had um, been together and the truth was that we're actually not even in the city we're yeah, going we're to, to get married yes. so, <laughs> so a lot of things were done quite shabbily you know so that was the worst part like not having do i it wasn't like i even had a dream wedding but at least i needed things to be done properly but not as the worst part for me oh my god you have to start first okay but the worst meant for me is the fact that i wasn't on ground okay you know? to like you said earlier do visitation to do visitation to get to know people better okay and especially for the fact that i wasn't still going to be around to know to be around them okay to spend time with them also even know them even though i'm going to get married to my wife and i'm going to be spending staying with her where i wish i could be to be mm -hmm. you know you know the parents but you know it's different from when you knew when you know somebody okay. and now we are Getting to know them as becoming part. Okay, part of you. Of you, you understand. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, I understand. So there was no time to do the familiarity, familiar, familiar, family. Okay. So now we're going to the main reason for this mm -hmm. video. I think that's what you like. Yeah, I that's what I like. So you don't like this part, and this is the part I like. <laughs> okay. Mm. So the the main um, purpose actually for this video is to make there are, there are a lot of people that actually just entirely shy away from long distance relationship. Once oh, they yes. hear like the long distance relationship, like oh, yes. they run, like yeah. they don't want to even associate themselves with anything long distance but the truth is that life happens and you can be together with a particular person doing this courtship issue together and life will just throw yes, fling yes so you should not just put your put your mind that you can never do long distance okay. relationships so so there are lots of things that we did to make our courtship very very rich like if i think about our courtship i'm so proud of I'm so proud of us. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. How to effectively handle your long distance relationship? Okay. So, so, what do you think is the first thing that um, a person entering into a long distance relationship should do? The first thing is, of course, communicating. Okay. That's communication. If you if you are able to communicate, find time to talk. Find time to speak to her. Find time to talk to her. If I just want to talk with her every time, what is the best thing the brother say? I'm not the, I'm not the, I'm the very quiet type. <laughs> you find a way that to talk. Oh, did I, am I not quiet? <laughs> That's what I'm asking. I'm quiet, man. I'm the quiet type. Yes. But when That's what I do. You can't see what the person is quiet. Yes, okay, what if the person is yes, actually what if the person is quiet and the person is like I don't uh, talk him because there are people that actually make flimsy excuses, you know. So is that excuse excusable? Like I don't it, talk. It is it, not. It's not. If not, it will just get too cold. To what if the person say, okay, I can't, I can't be calling you every time. If you call me, I'll be able to answer you. <laughs> 
like he said, this is our excuse. So when somebody is saying, if you really want to make it work, yes, you have to find a way. Find a way. Yeah, yeah, actually. And the truth is that there yeah, are things are putting around where you where you Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, the truth actually is that yeah, somebody that is actually it, serious it, it with you. Yeah, there's a lot of things to eat. Yeah, someone that serious is actually very serious with you would always want to yeah, talk to you. Talk to so if the person is not always seeking to talk to you, always making excuses. I know there are some excuses that could be genuine. Yes. But there are some people that if they can actually go one week and they are cold. Yeah. That's that's already a red sign. Well, so communication. Yes. Okay, that's very important. Communication is very, very important. Very important. Yes. Yeah. I think one thing that was actually very big for us to in our long distance relationship, we actually did not do it alone. We were actually seeking out to also communicate with our people. So he was actually looking out to like I think we it was almost like an unwritten list. Have you called my sister? Have you called this person? Have you called this person? From time to time, we're always calling each other's siblings. So I'll call his siblings. He'll call my siblings. Just even though we are not in the same environment, just to solidify our relationship as a soon to become family. Yeah, I think that's very important also. Calling the um, the others um, family members. Don't I don't think it's good to do it on your own. Yeah. I think that's very very important. What other thing do you think um, could actually help? So doing things together. Okay. Because the more you get to do things together, it's also a way of getting to even know each other. Each other. And distance is not a barrier. And it's not a it's not a barrier. Mm-hmm. So you get to know this person's opinion about issues about things. You get to know her my own opinion about issues. You get to go, go to the point to begin to know, okay, this person likes this. Yeah. This person does not like this. This person enjoys this kind of thing. This person is not interested in this kind of thing. Yeah. So just trying to get the other person to come along with you, to get to do things together. Uh, for example, if, if maybe I want to get, I wanted to get a, maybe a cloth. Yeah. You know, I can say, oh, what do you think about this? I'm yeah. trying to get this yeah. cloth, I'm trying to get this this shoe, yeah. you know, or something, it's just something like that. What, yeah. what do you think? Yeah, I found this this uh, item, and can you look at the price? Do you think I should, <laughs> I should get it? Yeah. You know, and all of that. So, it just make the other person, make you feel that the other person is already becoming part a of part you. of you. Yeah, I think that's very important not, uh, together physically. Together. Yes, yeah. there are a lot of times you did that. Yeah, there are a lot of times. Even me, I think I remember the, <laughs> there was a time I went to this market. Ah, uh, Yaba, Yaba, right. Yaba. I went to get jean skirt. Remember when I got jean skirt for yeah. choir, yeah. and then I had to show him. I think I showed you like the jean skirt, and the, it wasn't so tight. <laughs> Remember, yes. <laughs> so those kind of things like doing things together, seeking the person's opinion, not because it's not like you cannot make the decision yes. yourself, but just bringing them into mm-hmm. your own space intentionally is actually very important. Another thing we did that was actually very good was reading together. Yes. Not reading together. Wait, did we ever read together? Like we, we, reviewing we together. together. So we yeah. have got books that we already listed that okay. When time of our courtship, these are the books that we will go through. Yeah. We had a specific time where we needed where we said okay, we are going to review these the books, books together. From there we began to draw uh values. Yeah, values, draw, our family values. Yeah. So several discussions, like I said again, yeah. second discussions were just coming out from those so it was not it was never a dull moment it wasn't a dull moment so i think reading books very very important Mm -hmm. and the truth is that irrespective of where you are you can actually still i think that is even core Mm -hmm. i think that should be the core of any long distance relationship Mm -hmm. because the books you read will form your mind together they began they, 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 they begin to form our foundation, fa- foundation yes, yeah. our found the foundation of our home, mm-hmm. and even till date, yes. even though I can't really say verbatim what the books said, I know that they are they actually a major part of those foundational values that we actually believe in mm-hmm. as a couple, and time, and like if you believe in something, you would have to create the time. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. You have to create the time. I remember I'll come back from work. Yes. I was still so tired. And you know, Lagos traffic and everything. And I was still be able to maybe because I still like I just wanted to hear you no know, love was in the air. Love is still in the air anyway. <laughs> but yeah, yeah it's, it wasn't easy. Yeah. I remember, I could, I remember the um, nights. Nights. A, a lot of nights. Yes, I was still, ah. I was still awake. God bless my sister in law. <laughs> it's a very good opportunity to tell her God bless you because ah she actually she's actually she's she's actually a good person. Thank you. It's not you <laughs> because I remember that time she would just come to the room and that's it. I had kids were staying, that's my um, nieces, niece were staying, and she'll be like, You're still on the call. Okay, she she never for once shouted at me, and it was just it was actually nice. So I, I want I wanted to add to it. So that goes together with praying together. Yes. Yes. So because when you when you discuss, when you read books, when you communicate and you are bringing issues yeah. that pertains to your life to be, your relationship to be, your family that you are going to build together, you know. So issues I mean, come up. coming up. Yeah. Now of course you already know that. Like it's like oh we have not been in this before we have not been in before <laughs> so that just drew us to the place of, of help, of, uh, seeking, of help. seeking help to the place of praying together it's not like as if uh, praying together is not important if you are in the same location yeah but you know? it also helps yeah, but it, it it's helps. one thank of the things for, that you should do actually yeah, thank God for technology that yeah. makes most of these things. Uh, easy. The truth is that uh, those prayers, we're seeing the answers almost, we're, we're seeing the answers actually, especially when we're praying for the process process of our, our marriage. We also pray for um, our marriage now, like our um, wedding plans and all those things. We're seeing answers and it's just kept sealing the fact that yes, I'm, I'm on the right path and everything. Another thing that can help you is having the right people around you. Having the right people that can actually check meet your relationship is very important and seeking godly counsel even whilst you're in the courtship is very important also. Yeah, so there's something that is also very important and that is about the conviction of of your marriage, conviction of your courtship, you know. Uh, what did you just go into the relationship? the relationship because you are just feeling one kind of body or you were led into it? Yeah. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if it's a this long distance or if it's a yeah, short, short distance, time. but the conviction that this person is who God has said or has led me to get married to. It's also very important. Very, very important. Yeah. Because that is what will keep you going. Yeah. So that it will look like things are getting difficult, things are looking so much, you know, oh, this distance, it's and all tiring. Of that, it's tiring, and all of that. You are like, okay, that word that you got, that's, yes, that word that you got, that commission that you, that you got, when you were going into it, becomes a consolation to you. Yeah. You get. Yeah. So that is also very important. So, and that's why I put it, that's why it's key that when you want to get married, like we've heard over and over and over again, it's not just about the looks, it's not just about the, the shapes, it's not just about the externals. What thing within, what is that thing inside of you that is leading you to this person, that is pushing to this person? Yeah. All of that is very, very, important. very important. Yeah. yeah. So another thing, and I think this is the last one for me. Yeah. So I, you, I, I've seen the last. Oh. <laughs> Okay, another thing that is very, very important. So the most, another thing that actually can help in um, a long distance relationship is defining the period of the long distance relationship. Exactly. Very. Def defining the period of having like a, having a long, in, yes, having an end in really fast. You cannot do long distance relationship for five years. I know some people do it, but it is not ideal. You can't do long distance relationship for even. Three years, three years, for me, three years is long. Well, situations may, well, situations well, may yes. differ, situations may warrant it to be that long. But, but have a practicable yes. end in view. Yes, yes. Don't say, okay, let's enter into the relationship and yes. if, if I have money, we'll get married. No. 
<laughs> don't end at all. <laughs> don't end at all. So having yeah. having an end an end having an end in view actually is what can even sustain and continue giving fire to the relationship. Yeah. Another key thing is having... this is your final one. Oh. This is the final. final one. The final, the final. We are done. So, again, the final or the final. Yes. So very key, like she pointed out, uh, you know, people that are responsible to, that are that are, that are, that are responsible. That that you are responsible. That are responsible. <laughs> Accountable. Yes, English to <laughs> People so, that you are accountable. Yes, people that you are accountable. Oh, to. Older people. Older people that you are accountable. This, I think this is even advisable for both long and short, but it's yeah. more important for yeah. long distance. Yes, yes, yes. Very, 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 very important. And so, it, uh, sorry, I'm really very sorry, but and these accountable people now, it's not that brother has somebody is accountable to and sister has somebody she's accountable to somebody that both of you will agree to be accountable to so that they know that they can call each any of you yeah. at any time yeah. that um, they feel led to, to give an advice yeah. and all that i just even check yeah I check on you like how you doing how far we go with this what's the progress you are making yeah. in the courtship and is that all is that all you have to say <laughs> thank you very much for listening thank you sugar sugar <laughs> thank you very much i'm, I'm happy to be here oh <laughs> thank you very much yeah, for yeah. making our time okay so hope you enjoyed that wonderful it was actually an interesting um conversation if you enjoyed it please like share and comment and if you have any other tips for people that are about to go into long distance relationship please drop it in the comment section and until i come your way next time bye, bye.